So ATT at 965,000, which is kind of impressive. Verizon, eh, not as impressive, 269,000. You guys, 1.3 million. How is it possible you can think of another one? Don't you have everybody already? Well, you know, investors keep asking, you know, how long can this go on? Right. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I can tell you that for T-Mobile, it doesn't matter. You know, we, we delivered. In the very quarter, people are asking, you know, will we be able to sustain this growth? We right. delivered more postpaid net ads in Q1 than AT&T and Verizon combined. 1.3 million, the best performance for a Q1 in eight years, no, just know. this quarter. No, and I don't want to sound like a show for you, but let me just do this. Your churn is remarkably low. How's that? I mean, people just don't like the uncarrier that much. I mean, it's still just a phone company. Over the last two years, the Magenta brand, the T-Mobile brand, we think it had the lowest churn in the industry. And this quarter, no, I know we did, had I'm... the best uh, sequential performance in seven years. We had no. the best year-over-year -year performance and sequential performance in the industry, and it's all because this integration is coming through. We've been telling people for years that we will get this integration done ahead of schedule. Right. Two-year anniversary. That's right. We just celebrated yeah, two years. Anniversary. We're going to have every Sprint customer off the Sprint network over the next couple months, and we're going to shut that network down this this year. And so what's happening is as the Sprint customers come across, they love what they're finding. Better plans, better right. service, better network, and, and the churn is rapidly well, falling wait a as second. a result. I watch a lot of sports. And I'm going to get Sarah in this, everybody. I watch a lot of sports. Don't get me and, on sports. And what's incredible is ATT says they have the best 5G. Verizon says they have the best 5G. You guys claim the best 5G. I mean, can I please get some clarity? Because those ads are very compelling. <laughs> Particularly that you know, the woman in the store, I'm thinking I should switch. Yeah, you'll never get clarity from those TV commercials. Everybody's the best 5G in the TV commercials. Listen, we cover now 1.8 million square miles with 5G. That is more than AT&T and Verizon gotta, combined. It's got to be about 95% more, of the country. More square miles than the two of them combined. In population, we're reaching 95% of the population with 315 million people, more than anybody. But the real game in 5G is what's called ultra capacity. You hear everybody talking about this. They say ultra wideband or ultra capacity. This is the mid-band 5G that's the real game changer, where it's like eight, ten times faster than LTE. In that one, we now cover 225 million Americans. We'll be at 260 by the end of this year and 300 next year, where nobody else even has plans to ever go past 250. But does the customer care? Like, where are we in, in the customer adoption of 5G? Because there's been so much hype and investment from you guys. In yeah. cycle. Well, it, it shows that our customers are jumping in with both feet. We have 45% of our customers with 5G devices. More than half our traffic now is 5G with 5G devices. And what's interesting is it's, it's enabling new applications like 5G home broadband. We now, I mean, T-Mobile, not Comcast or Charter or one of the wirelines, T-Mobile is the fastest growing home broadband provider with more than 300,000 net additions just this quarter, and that's happening because of the massive capacity of our leading 5G network.